in the past I've reviewed some of the, the Master of Horrors, Horrors uh, episodes. So on my Netflix queue I have a lot of them. Let me adjust this real quick. I think I'm slightly crooked. So then I saw the Screwfly Solution. And I was like, okay. You know, I, I, I watched it and I was kind of like, it's, uh, some people like to look at it from a, a pure, like, subcontext point of view. But essentially there is a plague that's going around and it's making men who become sexually aroused very, very violent and aggressive. To the point where if a man sees a woman, he might actually beat her to death. Or, like in one scene, run them over with his car. The first time you actually see somebody actually do an actual you know, killing is there's a guy at a strip club and he's not looking at them, he has his hands down and they're like, he's doing something, I don't know what. Then they realize he's got a hand wrapped in barbed wire. For some people that's a, a level, a level of uh, religious zealotry to go to places you shouldn't be and then to suffer physical torture while doing it. <clears throat> the woman then tries to entice him. He decides he's had enough, shatters a beer bottle and then begins to essentially beat her and someone else with a fist wrapped in barbed wire and a broken bottle. And you kind of go, wow, this is, you know, fairly brutal. For the way it's filmed, it's not going to be, you know, like he punched her in the stomach, tore her intestines. It's not like Mortal Kombat. But, but most of the kills are done in a fairly effective manner. Those are start realizing is there's this large path that this disease is going or plague or virus, whatever terminology you want to use. And in every single area, the men essentially dominate the area until all the women are killed. So apparently women just can't fight back at all. They do make certain, you know, riffs on religion, in some cases the Muslim religion with Sharia law. And the weird thing is, some people kind of look at it from this, like, socio-commentary standpoint where a man or a men try to control women's sexuality to a point where if they express it in a manner that a man deems offensive, something is done physically to therefore restrain the woman. Which I guess in some ways is, you know, a commentary on things like you know, Sharia law, where a man has almost total control over a woman. Period. That being said, some of the female characters in this you really don't feel any empathy for. Um, Jason Priestley, who's, who's one of the scientists, his wife, you know, she plays a pretty decent part. Their daughter, they're walking past some construction workers who are, you're a construction worker, you know, they're yelling, you know, lewd things at her. She turns around and then kind of like, you know, shakes her butt. And then gives them the finger. If you've got like three guys and your mother essentially is kind of working with a battered woman shelter and all of a sudden there's a huge influx of battered women and all these crazy things are going on and you know women are being beaten and killed by like the hundreds you'd almost think that a common dictum would be you know a bunch of guys who are being rude and abrasive maybe you shouldn't I don't know deliberately egg them on of course one of them chases down to her car which then leads to her kind of almost getting into a car accident somebody yelling like you know learn how to drive you stupid and then chucking like, you know, like a pop can at her car so in a world where men are becoming increasingly violent towards women she decides to kind of egg a few of them on. But then the weird part ends up being when they hit the end and the aliens show up who extract gray matter from the men that they kill. And then there's a weird revelation of did the aliens come to this planet to essentially try to wipe out all women? Because there's no women, and just being men, if no population, no population, the Earth, the Earth, the Earth, to take care of itself? Or was it a device created by Mother Nature to essentially, you know, remove all life from the planet? It's interesting and it's different in that aspect. It works better as a science fiction uh, adaptation, of science fiction film, than it actually would as a horror movie. And I did read that. Joe Dante originally wanted to do a full version of this. And I really couldn't see doing another half an hour of this sort of story. It would work great for almost like a Twilight Zone. Not that well for Masters of Horrors. 